right, welcome back to our Origins Summer Preview. I'm here with Jay Tumbleson from Rio Grande Games. Hi, Hello. Jay. Hello again. And this is Tin Goose. Right. You know, it's not a railroad game, it's an airplane it's game. It's an airplane game. And it's nothing like a railroad game. Yeah, it's very much like a railroad oh, okay. game. <laughs> Except you're building airplane routes instead of sure. train tracks. Uh, it's seven turns, that's it. Uh, played across three eras. Uh, basically what happens is the uh, first era is the golden era, and you'll have uh, two turns in the golden era, and then you're gonna have uh, four, uh, three turns in the blue era. Three. And then two turns in the red okay. era. Okay. Yeah. Uh, during each turn, a player, well, at the beginning of the game, player gets 10 cards. Three, four, and three. So you're going to use two of your three yellow cards. Okay. Or gold cards. Yeah. Three of your four blue cards and two of your three red cards. Yes. So you, you know at the beginning of the game what your chances are, what your options are, what you can right, do. what you're trying to yeah. happen. Generally speaking, you'll have four things you can do. You can either auction off a plane, and that's auction to everyone. Okay. Okay. Uh, and planes are good because they allow you to expand your route. All right. Um, and the other things are all bad. So this is a game of managing badness. Okay. Now, normally I don't like those sort of games, yeah. and I was a little concerned about it, but when I play it, I love it. Okay. Because you know the badness is coming. You know, in some games, you're not sure, you're not sure when it's gonna happen, how uh -huh. it can hurt you and whatever. Okay. Here, it's pretty definite. All right, I see a hazard track. There's a there. hazard track, yes. All of the planes, if I can find a plane, which I can't, of course, planning better would have been, all the planes have um, a crash amount, yep. how dangerous they are, and how much oil they take. Okay. Okay, so during the game, you can arrange to buy planes that have small numbers here, reducing your risk in the case there is a crash, right. in which case people are negatively affected by a crash, or if there's an increase of a payment of oil, if you have small oil consumption, then you're in good shape. And there's also uh, options for a labor strike. Again, you have, if I can find one, I think I did, you have tokens which allow you to essentially assist yourself in the event of a labor strike. Okay. So the three bad things that can happen, and they will happen. Great. Because they happen often enough in the cards that, and of course, since you play them from your hand, uh, you can often mitigate the effect on you because you play it at a time when it- You know that it's coming. You know, generally speaking, the hazards always affect people who are, in the case of the hazard, have the highest hazard number, and the person with the lowest hazard will be unaffected or helped. So if you believe it's coming, you can try to make sure you're that way. Or, as I've done in some games, you can just say, I'm gonna play a different strategy, I'm gonna try to make money a different way, and when the strike comes or when the crash comes, I'll deal with it, but I've done other things well enough that I don't care. Okay. Seven turns, you're done. Excellent. When is Tin Goose available? It's available now. Oh, there's one other nice thing I ah. like about it. There's uh, bonds you can take. You can take a bond anytime, and you get 40 bucks, or 40 okay. million bucks, or whatever, you know. <laughs> whatever the, 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 whatever the nomination is. is. And at the end of the game, you give back 40 bucks. It's a money game, so whoever has the most money wins. However, if a crash happens, or something bad happens, and you have to pay, which yeah. you often do, yeah. and you don't have enough money, then you can immediately take a bond, but you only get 20 bucks. But at the end of the game, you still pay for it. Oh, okay. So you're never gonna go bankrupt, but I've seen- But knowing when to lend. I, I've actually saw a player have six of these at the end of the game, finish second. Oh. So it's how you manage the things that okay. counts, not the fact that you didn't take bonds or didn't take loans, whatever. Tin Goose. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. And thank you for watching.